Hi everybody, you're watching tutorials. Welcome to this Adobe Illustrator tutorial where we're gonna create this logo design. In this tutorial, I will show you how to work with the uh, transform effects inside Adobe Illustrator, as well how to set up and maintain this nice vibrant gradient, as well as how to use default, default gradients inside Adobe Illustrator to achieve this uh, cold water effects. I also want to ask you for, for the help what tutorial we are going to do next. So I wait for your suggestion in the comments form below, I wait for your answer in the, on the poll and I also encourage you to join uh, Skillshare because my next premium course will be on Skillshare and you can Follow the link in the description and enjoy your free two months of premium membership on Skillshare.com. So I'm now in Adobe Illustrator 1920 by 1080 document. And first of all, I want to control quote or command quote to load my grid and control shift quote or command shift quote to snap to the grid. You can also go to the view and do all of this stuff here. Now I want to grab my uh, ellipse tool and create a, an ellipse holding shift and alt key. I want to draw from the center holding alt key and shift because I want to constrain the proportion between height and width of my ellipse to create a perfect circle. Now I want to get rid of the stroke and I want to set my, uh, get rid of the fill, I'm sorry, and set my stroke color to black. 240 pixels in uh, diameter. And I want to create a second ellipse holding Alt key and Shift key to move it apart to the straight line to the top. And it's uh, a bottom coin should be tangent to the center of our original ellipse. So keep this ellipse selected. Go to your rotate tool or click R. Holding Alt key, click on the center of your original ellipse. Then set the angle of your rotation to 30 degrees. Click copy to produce a duplicate, then Ctrl T, Command D to repeat the separation. Then select three ellipses. And we need to build a shape. So grab your shape builder tool, shift M, and then build this shape. This beautiful shape. I want to delete all another stuff and then ready to repeat it via distort and transform command. So go to the effect, distort and transform, transform. In this dialog box, I want to set the angle of my rotation first to 30 degrees and I also want to set the number of copies to 11. I want to set here a point of my transformation and move it to the right, middle right. Check preview and have this beautiful ring. I want to click OK to apply the changes. And now we can actually delete this and we need to do some adjustments. First of all, we need to find our original shape because it's only active shape here. All other shapes uh, generated by Adobe Illustrator Transform are live. That means that they will repeat all the adjustments and transformation you do with your original shape. Let's take a look what we can transform here. But before we start, uncheck all of these snap to pixel options, click OK and also go to the edit preferences general and set keyboard increment to very low because uh, here I gonna move my dots with the keyboard arrow keys and I want to be very precious here. So I set the keyboard increment to all point two pixels. So now I want to select this point with direct selection tool and move it, let's say, 
uh, a control shift a control shift quote to unsnap from the screen disable this option and now I can move it like so and I want to align it here I want to hide it here go here grab this uh, two points in the middle and push them outside you can actually play with the shapes this is very flexible technique this is a good technique that allows you to create a complex uh, patterns uh, ornaments uh, mandalas and uh, of course uh, fractals but it's also very good for logo design if you need a logo through the repetition of one main shape. So guys, when you stop editing your shape, uh, in order to, to go further and uh, apply this vibrant gradient to this uh, design, we need to uh, first of all go to object and expand appearance. Now I want to grab my shape builder tool, click shift M and select the shape but before we start i want to swap fill and stroke and and apply default gradient if you can find your gradient go to the windows gradient now as you can see we have this uh, shape and we need to define the shape uh, also here because uh, as you can see our original design is lies on top and we need to blend it with the shape builder tool, mix this stuff and combine it like so, then combine this stuff, then combine this stuff, and so on. And here I want to speed up a little bit my tutorial. Then we need to ungroup because I want the apply the gradient to every single shape in my design, probably we also need to ungroup and delete all the straight points here uh, in case we have any of them. So I uh, ungroup all of my passes and uh, next we need to build the gradient and uh, to do that we need to select all of my shapes, select the stop watch, this is white and Holding shift key, grab your airdropper uh, tool and sample any color you, you have. In my case, I have this yellow color. I want to apply uh, this color in the start. Then uh, keep selected this yellow stopwatch. I want to navigate to my location and set it to 50%. Click OK and I have this yellow on the 50 in the middle of my gradient. Keep selected your design, grab your uh, black stopwatch, holding shift key, select this tool, then create another stopwatch in the very beginning and uh, again select this tool. Now we need to grab our uh, gradient tool or click G and change the direction of every single gradient in our design and again because it's a repetitive task i want to speed up a little bit my tutorial so now that we have this uh, beautiful ring i'm pretty happy with that and i want to make it duplicate holding alt key go to the windows watches and uh, clicking on this library in the bottom left find the gradients and then i want to find the water gradients and here i want to apply one of these beautiful gradients that you can see is absolutely stunning i probably want to stop on this right gradient so i have these two designs i want to thank you for following to the end don't forget to subscribe and uh, uh, give a thumb up to this tutorial and don't forget to participate in the poll 
what of the logotype design you want to see next. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.